Joined now by, I can you call yourself the voice of the Zags? Because I don't think so. I don't think that works officially, right? Because Tom Hudson would be yeah. the radio voice of the I don't Zags. I'm not fighting Huddy. Huddy. Heist, cool. Heister is the TV voice of the Zags when we're playing Nobody. <laughs> damn. I Gee, mean, I would, I would say that to Greg's face. Yeah. Greg, if you're listening, come on. You know that's kind of the situation. But you are the in-house public address announcer. Yeah, for the Gonzaga like Bulldogs. the secret voice of the Zags. Secret Just voice for of the season ticket holder and voice of the Zags. And your enthusiasm has gotten much better throughout the season. <laughs> Rob. Here's the deal. No. <laughs> it gets awkward sometimes when the kennel's really quiet. Oh, I know. Oh, I and I'm over there going, a Gonzaga! You know, just <laughs> screaming. And it, like, I don't need a microphone. It feels really <laughs> weird sometimes. No, I, it, it, sometimes, I, I have to admit, sometimes, especially with these last blowouts, it feels like a golf event. Yes, and it's so it's hard. not against our, our our students or anything like that. Our fans are great. They're it's a sold out place. It's just a little quiet in well, these blowouts. And let's be honest, this year's team is not last year's team. Last year's team was. Dunk, it didn't dunk, matter dunk. what blowout game it was. It was still going to be entertaining because it was so much excitement. I mean, Brandon Clark yeah. and Rui. I mean, they just did things that were ridiculous. Where this year, I mean, Petrushev. Turnaround jumper, okay. No, no, they're very that, fundamentally like sound, and you're not going to see anything above the rim. Yeah, but at the same time, I, I, I we need more. I need more from you, Kevin. I need more. Okay, I need I, more. I will give you all I've got. I'm tomorrow. glad you're. I'm glad you're on because you're the expert here. I swear on my life. Last year it was Petrosev. Right? right, and if you listen to Tom Hudson, it's still Petrosev. Okay, so Tom Hudson goes Petrosev. He says Petrosev. All the ESPN or all the local guys like Heister Dickow on TV go Petrusev. Petrushev, yeah, it's it's like Shev at the end. So it is Petrusev. Yes. What is yep. that little thing over? What is it over his E or? His yeah, e? what are those things called? I don't uh, know. Umlaut. <laughs> <laughs> is that it? Is it's that an umlaut. Yeah. Umlaut. <laughs> Is that it, the toughest name on the roster this year for you? Uh, I don't know. I like it. Uh, his name, it's become fun for me because... Not as fun as Ayayi. Ayayi. Ayayi is just kind of weird to say. It's, it's short. Fun it cuts off. Because I do it like very uh, European. And I'm like, Patrushev. <laughs> That's how I say it every time he scores. So it's kind of fun. Oh. I got to say, growing up, when I... Growing up. When I went to school, <laughs> my first year was uh, 2006, 2007. Okay. You know, I went to all the games, blah, 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 blah. And then it wasn't until when I came back to work at KXLY like four years ago when I put together that it was Kevin from the Jan Kevin show who did the public address. Oh, okay. So you didn't even... I had no idea who you were. Yeah. Because you turn it on and off so well. Like your... It's different. Your yeah. voice on Jan and Kevin's show is, is this. Yes. It's very casual. Your <laughs> yeah. voice in the kennel is polished. Professional. It's, it's professional. Real. It's real professional. Yeah. I play, well, my job, my real job, I basically play an idiot for four <laughs> hours every day. Wait, I mean, Kev, you're telling not, me that it's all been fake? Not, You've been no, faking it with me no, the whole time? You can't fake that, Rob. Oh, it's amplified. But it's like, that's my split personality. It's like, that's, I think I want to be the polished Gonzaga guy, yeah. like the PA guy. Well, you are. But that. it's too much work. Right. Like, I can't do that every day. So I like to just fall back into the, the Kevin from the Jay Kevin show. Way easier. How did you get that gig? I mean, that's a gig every broadcaster in Spokane would want. Right. And here's no, the anybody way. should want that. Though. Everybody, yeah. Right. Yeah, and that's people always ask me about that. They're like, dude, dude, is that a pretty good paying gig? And I'm like, it pays nothing and I don't care. I'm never going to say I want to raise it. Right. I mean, you get literally to I have a front row seat for every GU game. It's, right. the, it's the best. So the way I got the job is the goofiest thing. Like, I just, I had never even really done PA announcing, except for at Harrington High School, the home of Ryan Floyd, where Ryan Floyd, GU star, played. The name keeps just getting brought up in this town. So much Ryan Floyd love. That is the only PA announcing I had ever done at a little B school. And so did you it. lie and say you had done a ton? No. Um, it was just a weird deal. Oliver Pierce, who was the sports information director, mm -hmm. he was a big fan of our show, and... Harv Clark, who used to do the announcing and had done it for 20-some years, I think, Harv was sick. And so they were just 
kind of desperate to find somebody and desperation leads to me. <laughs> oh, it's worked with the ladies. The lights, it's worked, <laughs> the lights have been turned on. It's, you know what? It's been my thing. You when you're what? desperate, why like why are you guys having me on right now? Yeah, we had a cancellation. Yeah. <laughs> See, and I'm okay with that. Like some people get mad about that. Like I own that. That's my deal. How, what year was that when you started? Uh, I think I filled in for two seasons off and on because Harv had... He just started to get some illness as he got a little older. And so I think for two seasons, I would just kind of fill in. And I think that was part of it, too. Like, I didn't have an ego about it. I was just like, eh, yeah, whatever. Right. If Harv wants it's his job. And mm-hmm. so they never, I just filled in off and on for two years. And then Harv retired. And they were like, hey, you're the guy. What year? And I think this has been, this is my 11th season full time. 11th so season. So were yeah. you, you weren't into Martin, were you? No. 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 I started Always. at the at the new kennel. So whatever year that was. Oh six. Oh six. Oh, my freshman year was the second. Morrison's last year was the first year no. in the new kennel, I no. think. Morrison's no Morrison's Guys, this is my least favorite part of Zag Talk. Because I can never remember. No, they all, it was Ronnie, they all run Ronnie together senior year. Was it Ronnie's Ronnie senior played year? one year in there. Ronnie played one year. Okay, right. and I don't I never announced Ronnie's name. I know that. So, okay. like right after that, you would remember Turioff. Yeah, we kind of got into like the tail end of uh, Earl Earl Knight. Earl, yeah, Earl <laughs> Knight. Yep. So yeah, and then I just kind of, I I don't know. I don't even. I just think you know how it is with GU. Once you become part of the family, you're just kind of locked in. And there's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, there you it's go. all one long season. Yeah. What's the? Can you recall a game where it was the loudest when you couldn't hear yourself talking in the microphone? Oh wow. Um. There's been a couple. I, I, last year's St. Mary's game was one of the craziest energy games I've ever. The game where the Zags won by fifty some points, yeah. which should be one of the most boring games in history. They just, but it was them. like every single thing Gonzaga did went right. So you just and our fans are smart. Like they're good basketball fans. They get basketball and they could just right. every play was a good play. So it was just like constant energy. And it was so fun. I just I was sweating at the end of the game. What? Yes, I was like literally had worked up a sweat because it was just like well, I think we scored a hundred and some points. And it, I know we blew them out. And it was screaming every single time they scored. It was they one just, of those. Well, everyone hates St. Mary's. It's called right. And I think that and was that, it. That so was that just, it was just the passion mm-hmm. of the hate. Yeah. Do people ever recognize you out in the streets from your voice? So often. It's and really many, from from the, the PA that, or yes, Jan Kevin? No, the people that recognize me from Gonzaga, it, it always surprises me. They'll just be like, "Are you the guy?" And I'm thinking they're going to say from the radio and mm-hmm. I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, there yeah. we go." Yeah. <laughs> 30 years, man. I put in the time. People know who I, and then they're like, "You're the guy from Gonzaga." And you're like, "Oh, Oh, well, I, I wasn't asking for that, but okay, I'll take it. Yeah, so it's kind of weird. And I don't know if it's, I think it's the TV thing a lot. Because you're on. Because yeah, they pan right. the sidelines gotcha, and yeah. they, they see you there. And I don't know. I guess my voice is unique. Recognizable. Recognizable something. Can we get one your Gonzaga Bulldogs? Sure. You really want it? Right now. How much you got? Mm. I've got oh, we trademarked this joint. <laughs> the East Wheeler's got free coffee. Oh, okay, mm. I'm good. They gave me water. Okay, yeah. Okay, hold on. It gets really, you know how awkward this is. I know because it's, it's like singing so happy birthday. Loud. It's, it's like so receiving loud. happy birthday in an office building. Because you just no. really have to. I like have to back up and be like, "You're Gonzaga." See, I got a little phlegm in my throat oh. right now, though. Gonzaga, oh. bulldog. Oh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and that's like half. That's like half volume. That's special. It gets so loud. You should do that to wake yourself up in the morning. Oh, I do sometimes. When you look in the mirror. I'm not going to. Guys, when you do the PA stuff, like you literally practice in the shower. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. So you take it seriously. And if I could do the games nude, I would be better. Because that's where I've practiced. I've only practiced nude. Is it stressful where, reading where the app? We, oh, hold on. Go ahead. Where are Go we ahead. going with this? Go ahead. Where are we going with this? Oh, practice? back to you naked? No, but you know how you practice... Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Do you practice anything in the shower? Do I practice <laughs> a couple of different things? <laughs> I practice hoops. <laughs> I practice it's dribbling. Kind of, it's kind I practice of, dribbling. Because it's weird. Every year there's a bunch of new guys, and I want to get like my signature of how I'm going to say their name. 
Because it's a big deal. Like, it, right. it sticks. Especially, you know? like, the international names. Yeah. When you're, like, trying to figure them all out. And then, like, well, you don't want to say every guy's name the same. So, in the shower, I would just go through a bunch of different ways of saying what names about and test it out. For our Japanese listeners, Hachimura. His was fun because his first name was the best. So, it was just... Hashimura, I just like said it really. I just was like, Rui. I just did Rui really yeah. long and then Hashimura. <laughs> Hashimura. Hashimura. Has yeah. there ever been a case earlier in the season when you've done like three, four games and then finally one player comes over and goes, Hey, Kev, by the way, good job. You're totally butchering my name every single time. Me. Oh, man. This is a. It used to be worse than it is now. Because I just learned a long time ago to just walk up and ask the guys. Yeah, right. right. You're and not I did it. And, and the problem with the kids sometimes is they don't care. They're like, uh, either way is fine. And sometimes they're European, and I don't really know what they're saying. <laughs> I'm like, like Philip, I, I went to Philip. I'm like, is it Petrushev or Petrushev? What, you know? And he was like, what he said just was fast. And I'm like, I, I don't know what you're. What do you me. mean? Yeah. What do you mean? This guy, Rob Sacre, talk to me. <sighs> What I think you, for a long time, there was the Sacre, 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 Sacre. Which one Sacre. is it? Sacre, Sacre. I still so, do that. I so it went back that. and forth. And I think this is podcast appropriate. Can sure. you guys even edit? Oh, we, we can guys edit, know how but we edit? probably won't. Okay. No. It's, it's way too much work. No. So I went to Rob before one of the games. And I'm like, is it Sacre or Sacre? <laughs> what did I say? God. And he's like, he looks at me and he goes, hey. Big sack. I got a big sack. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I'm not going to forget that. <laughs> Never forgetting that. No. So I. Sacre bleu. <laughs> Sacre bleu. <laughs> That's well, all I have to say. There you go. Now, Jack just wrote down on his paper. Is that where the edit comes? Nope. Okay. Nope. This is a different one. I didn't want to forget it because this guy has had a special place in my heart and I've never had the chance to meet him being around the program for, yeah. I don't know, 10 years now. <clears throat> The guy who runs the clock, who sits right next to you, yes. in the ref shirt. Uh, He's oh. been there for ages. Oh, Mike, the official He's scorekeeper? He's got the best hair split in the game. He's on real. Right down the middle? Yes. Are you are you buds with him? Do you guys oh, like, yeah. go out together? Dude, Mike is uh, he, he's a cool dude. He lives up in Colville and drives down here for every game and has for 20 plus years. What? And it's fun to watch him through because, all that weather and everything. <clears throat> absolutely. And I don't think he's ever missed a game. And he still it's just weird to see a score, you know, he does the scorebook. So he's writing every single thing the entire game in the scorebook. It's kind of fun to watch cuz in this digital world you don't yeah. see anything like that anymore, but that's still the way they do the official scorebook. And he's over there with his he just has a wad of pencils before the game. Yeah, and they're all just sharp because he just goes through them, writing that stuff down. And he's good. Yeah, he man, he is. A, he's a diehard man. He knows all the Zag stuff. I bet. I'm sure. Yeah, and he's always just dialed in. Was he there before you? Yeah, he's still there, right? Yeah. You yeah. said twenty some odd years. I think he he might be like a thirty year guy. F probably when Fuey was a GA. Probably. Yeah. Oh. That's crazy to think about. Now, you, yeah, mentioned, you mentioned how you got your start kind of filling in and then out of nowhere, then you were the full-time guy. You kind of have a situation now where there's a young buck behind you who fills in when you can't do it. Are you yeah. threatened by this guy? Whoa. Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, whoa. I don't Calm know. down. <laughs> filling behind him. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of a naturally insecure guy about some things. Like the PA thing, I don't really know if I'm good at it. You know You're great I mean? at it. I You're, just kind of got the job. You do have the I voice. do my best job. I do my best at it, but I don't have like an ego, and I'm always willing to listen to anything anybody says because I don't really. I mean, I don't have no. Tra I don't have any training in it. Like I right. just mm -hmm. kind of have done it. Right. I care about it. I try. You know. But it's funny. So I'm a little like my radio job. I'm not insecure. I clearly know I'm the best. <laughs> There's no ego there. Yeah, not, no. Especially, when, especially when you send your pay, your paycheck to everyone in. Oh, God, Rob. Oh, yeah. What happened? Oh, 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 oh. Jack. You used to work. We worked in the same building together at Morgan Kansas Murphy Live. Media, sure. Yeah. You know how there's the all email to the entire company? <laughs> That's not unique to our company. That's two, yeah. two weeks ago. Oh, no. I came this in. This clown's in studio. We're <laughs> screwing around, talking, having a good time. And. I had to fill out my timesheets and 
turn in, you know. So you're doing that they, on the air. What they owe me. Yeah. So yeah, at the end of the show, we, he was hanging out. Rob hung out that day. So it was after the show and I'm doing it and I, I go to send it. And there's a little thing that's called like endorsements and that's what you're supposed to send. And I click, I thought I clicked on that, but I clicked on everyone. And I sent what they owe me money wise. Oh, to you the sent entire a higher company. A dollar figure to the entire company? Yes, sir. Oh boy. <laughs> now the, the company goes throughout states right oh yeah i mean it's oh, our entire all of morgan murphy corporate like the owner got to see the email <laughs> oh my god they're in madison wisconsin yeah and they're seeing your paycheck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm like what am i doing <laughs> kev guys <laughs> and so to fix it like a total professional I don't, how would you fix that jack uh apologize after i know do nothing i would do, do nothing. nothing okay yeah. you I thought about that and then I thought, no. So I just resp I responded. Big one and I responded, oops, ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. So yeah, that's that's how that went down. You but no, Slim, who fills in for me at the PA stuff when I have something else going on, I think he does a great what I like about it is because he's gone to the games enough and we're really good buddies, he he knows how keeps to the same style, kind keeps of. the same energy, which I think is good. That was one thing I didn't do. Like when I'd fill in for Harv, like he always had his little things that he did and I'm just felt like I couldn't do them the way he did them. So I didn't try to do that and copy him. Yeah. But with Slim, I think it makes sense for him to try to do the same, you know, Gonzaga three and do that same stuff so sense. that it feels more similar when I'm not there. You're a fan first, right? Oh, yeah. Do you ever get nervous while you're working the home games? Uh, yeah. And the hardest thing is you can't cheer. You can't, I mean, right. it's <laughs> kind of fun because yeah. you get some energy out by, you know, being able to basically mm -hmm. yell in the mic when someone scores. But it is hard. I mean, there's times where you get, well, like when there's a bad call, this is the worst because the official basically is calling it right to me. I mean, to my face right, yeah. and to the guy next to me. And so, like, there's been times where I'm like, that is crap. And I'm like, that's crap. And he's looking right at me, and I'm like, oh, I'm Look going to get I got the mic in front of me. <laughs> Luckily, I have the on-off switch. But, yeah, that's a hard one because the rest will look right at you, and you're just in disgust, and you're thinking, ooh, yeah. Now when you go to other sporting events, do you judge the PA announcer? Yeah. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I never did before, but now it's uh, – I don't know if it's as much a judging, but I try to, like, listen to see if there's – Something cool. Like the NBA announcers are so they get the Lakers. The, dude. the Lakers guy's been there forever. Really? And I just remember him being like, oh, Lakers girl. <laughs> yeah, they I all have their all their little the things they do that are pretty cool. I actually have Laker girl questions for another time <sighs> that I'd like to bring up. I can't I don't know anything about them. Okay. No, I I'm Oh, because oh, they separate them. No, I the, Yes, and mm -hmm. I'm married too, so I right. don't know anything about them. But um, but isn't that the thing? I know they, the, they're not allowed. As it, I their coach Lisa, she's been there like dancing with Paula Abdul and all. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, she was like a dancer from way. Which back. Which teammate do you think knows about the Lakers girls? I could not tell you, my friend. <laughs> I could not tell you. There you go, Cap. <laughs> trying to figure it out. Um, but they, Lisa will hunt if they are found talking just yeah. talking they're gone they're yeah. cut immediately that, that's like, probably a good idea that's how it is in the nfl i think yeah i, I could see that yeah. they can't date the, the uh -uh. cheerleaders uh -uh. chris yeah. cooley remember the tight end for the yeah. redskins got a girl fired for talking to her but then married her so it was a happy story that's beautiful. <laughs> and now we're talking Redskins football. <laughs> that's, that's, that's beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> that's, what a deal yeah. you know what else is beautiful godfatherhood Godfatherhood? Or sorry, grandfatherhood. Oh, grandfather. I'm like, like godfatherhood, this is this? deep. Where are we going with this? Grandfatherhood. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a grandfather already. It's kind of crazy. It's Fuck. weird. It's cool. Like, I what mean, are you Rob. a teacher? Mm -hmm. Rob, you know, like, you have the little, you, you've had little ones yeah, recently. Minions. Man, and I, she's at that age now where she's like six months old, and it's officially become cool it's a human yeah like she can hold her head up That's and stuff months. well you're not needed jack yeah right. you're not needed for the first six months yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it sounds cold but and even it, worse as a, as a grandpa like you try to be kind of involved you don't and have you a realize boob. That there's i have nothing yeah, to offer. you don't have a boob 
You can't feed. I don't. Them. You, you, you <laughs> no, you don't. So you like you're trying to like no. You, the, the, all they want is the boob for the first six months, and they eat shit and sleep. That's all they do. It's it's I can't. It's, it's there's nothing you there's. They don't want you. They just you're just there to hold. What about you? Can burp them? You can give them a burping. Yeah, yeah but they still after that they're like oh, all, right, all right, mom time. Yeah. Boop. Yeah. Boop. Well, I tell you, there's a like babies. I just feel like babies know. The, the touch of a woman or something because it, I think the, that's more than just babies. Yeah. <laughs> the touch of a, I think the touch of a woman is for not just babies. Okay, <laughs> like, what he said is correct. <laughs> <laughs> no, cause it's funny because like like my girlfriend is the first time she was around my granddaughter. It was just weird because she just instantly like I can hold my granddaughter for like ten minutes before she gets fussy and wants mom or whatever. As soon as my girlfriend holds her. Oh. Well, they put out a different, you know, I'm all and about energy. I, yeah, I it's know. It's all about the, the woman's energy is they just, just so powerful. They can sense it. They can feel it. Oh, so yeah. the six-month mark, what you're talking about, Rob, is that's when they just are daddy like, power. Yeah. Well, they, know, they, rec- they yeah. notice you. They For sure. They give you, like, they recognize yeah. you. Like, they'll, you, they're finally excited to see you when you, like, look over the crib and they're like, ha, oh, you can, you're somebody I know. And she's like, I don't know, they figure it out right away, too, like. She instantly, the second I see her, she will smile. Right. Just give me the biggest smile within like the first three seconds to just know this is the guy that if I smile at, I'm going to get anything I want the rest of my life. Now, it's funny you bring that up because it's well documented that you have not gotten your granddaughter one thing as a present since she's alive. She's six months old. She doesn't know. You ain't worth (laughs) two dead flies. Uh, that's what you Listen, you ain't worth two I've, dead flies I've gotten you know her that? mom and dad a lot of stuff like I don't know cell phone you want a cookie for right. that yeah. yeah you want a cookie you want a pile on the back I, what do you want deal. for that I'm saving up to when I feel like she's gonna appreciate it mm, that's so deep I, here's my argument and tell that's me if this is kick, tell me if this is can down the road no, tell me if bullshit. this is a crazy argument okay okay Mr. Bullshit I can cuss on a podcast I can <laughs> I can <laughs> It's awesome. I'm not that was your, sprinkle that it was, in. As long as you sprinkle it in. Yeah. That was fun yeah. for me, by the way, because I never get to swear when there's a microphone yeah, exactly. in front of me. It's so freeing, isn't it? It felt kind of cool. Yeah, and yeah. if people really knew how my mouth was. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you terrify me when you're in studio. He's actually but really to, good. To his credit, when, you, yeah, when yeah. he goes on air, he's, he's money every time. But uh, I see that sign that uh, every time. The, what does it say behind Jay? I the, don't cuss. These... This room has microphones that could be live at any time. Do not use profanity. Which yeah. is total BS because as soon as those, as soon as you guys go off the air, it's, it's, it's terrible. terrible. We've come yeah. real close. Yeah. We've come real, real Especially close. this guy with me. This guy with me <laughs> will kind of forget that the mic is there completely. And You've fallen asleep in studio before, haven't you? Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you Dude, mean? I'm a, I like being up late at night and I struggle. It's like working in the morning is the stupidest thing. I but hate working in the morning. I'm with you in that it sucks getting your feet on the floor and then getting in the shower. Now, you may not be a shower morning guy. Oh, no. Yeah, I have to shower in the morning. You got to shower? Yeah, if I don't, it just... It just <laughs> yeah. those, those, are, those are bad days. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> days when it's just deodorant. A, yeah. oh, a deodorant oh, and go if guy. you see me wearing a baseball hat at work... It's a no shower go. day? What did you do last night? <laughs> We're at the marquee, probably. Yeah. Probably at the marquee. <laughs> but once you're there, I think it's easy. Yeah, then you're, I'm dialed in. You're, once you that guys, gets going. You guys are done with your day pretty much at 10 a.m. Yeah. I know. That's, You'll hang around the office and play solitaire. Well, we do stuff. I, today, we listen to music <laughs> and watch videos. <laughs> that was The other thing, we've done the show so long, we prepare the next day's show so fast most of the time that it's... I don't know. Yeah, there's just a... You guys go, got to go segment by segment or right. hour by hour. What is your thing? What is this? Segment by segment. What's your thing where you read the letters? Oh, our listener letters? Oh, my God. That, you... I, that, that one is wild to me, man. Rob, we get these letters where... I don't, like, today's was a hairstylist who gets very expensive gifts from her clients, her male clients. And she has a boyfriend now that doesn't like it and says... Even if you don't have bad intentions, the guys have bad intentions. Because she was getting like a couple hundred dollar gifts from some of these clients. 
Is that like some pretty woman type stuff? Right yeah, here? I don't know. And so the boyfriend was not okay with it. And yeah, no. I so we just that. throw it out there for the audience <laughs> yeah. to react to. There's, yeah. For the most part, uh, they were saying that he was insecure. Like, she's good. Just do your thing. Uh, no. <laughs> now, our audience is majority women. So Is it right? Yeah. We're probably like 75% women. Because the dudes listen to whatever syndicated show you got on the morning on yeah. ESPN Radio. Uh, you know how guys are. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. What do you mean? Like... Okay, like when we do that, the guys that listen, like we'll put it on Facebook and we get all the comments from the women and they're very serious about yeah. how to handle it. And there'll always be one guy that'll comment like, how hot is she? Send a pic. Oh, <laughs> nice. Yeah. I'll send a pic to her. Give me your number. Let me they, send a pic to they her. They can't judge whether it's legit that she's getting gifts unless they see what she looks like. So that's, that's how some guys We got are. a lot of female listeners too. I had a couple of things to say there, but I won't. Why? What are you going to say? Uh, Please, Jack. Because I could see myself doing the same thing, commenting the same thing. Yeah. I kind of need to see a picture of the couple. <laughs> like, if she's way hotter than him, right? then of course he's insecure, but he's got a reason to be upset as well. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. If it's even Steven, if he's a good looking guy, if he's a successful guy, yeah. maybe he's in, in the wrong a little bit and he needs to trust uh -huh. a little bit more. So aesthetics goes a long way in my book. I see what you're thinking. Oh my god, <laughs> we got into this relationships. Is, this is, you guys want to start taking letters on this show? No, I, on the podcast. Mm, sure. I would. We would. I. I'm. You I can send. send us, you, I can send you, you some of ours. Send some us. of our juicy ones. Please. Relationship I'm, stuff. No, see what you think. I'm cool on that. <laughs> <laughs> we had one that was real touch and go. I can't even remember what it was about. But Rob was in studio and he just goes. I ain't touching this. <laughs> that was it. He was like, I, he wasn't oh, gonna, no. Not I a word. I'm not touching that one. That was like you talking about, what were you, what was the correct term you used? Little people. Oh, oh right. I wasn't talking about that either. Right. I wasn't doing it. I'm not doing it. Have you seen the point guard for what's called cool, UMBC? No. Oh, We're yeah. Going there. That guy's point, awesome. Listen, the point guard for UMBC yes. is five foot two. Maybe. But his dimensions are such that it makes me feel like he's not a short person, rather a tall little person, if you're picking up I, what I'm No, I, I totally Does agree. Does that make sense to you guys? When I saw, that, when I heard the dimensions. Yeah. Yeah. No, 100%. You're right. I've seen him play and he does look There's like that. Yeah. you just don't talk about. He looks like a super big little person. Correct. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. <laughs> I don't think I'm crossing any lines by saying that. See, he, no. we, we get real close. We get real close. He's like the Corey Kispert, because Corey Kispert's like a super big little person. Mm. Right? Because he's kind of a guard slash big guy. Wing guy. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Way to save it. Bring it back to him. Yeah, thanks. I just, tried to, I just tried to get us out of that. Outside of Rob, remove Rob from the equation. Every year you guys have Hoopers on before and even during the season a little bit. Yeah, we try to get him on a couple times. It's gotten harder over the years I mean, as the demands for media get yeah. crazier and crazier. We used to get guys on all the time. With no problems? Yeah, Middle and now it's, it's a little tougher. And there's some politics involved with another radio station in town that dun, 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 dun. is terrible, but they officially are the station that sponsors. So, oh, 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 oh. So oh, if we oh, get them, oh. they have to get them. It's just... Wait a minute. Political. They, they have a morning show? Exactly. No, they, it's not. It's their, their country station. Mm. Oh, their country station. Uh -huh. So okay. their country station's like, well, no, no, no. Officially, we have the rights. So yeah. it's one of those goofy things yeah. where <clears throat> the guys have the to money. go up there. And a hilarious story. One of the first times the guys had to go up there, the host of that show wore a WSU Cougars. Oh, show. come on. Yeah. Rookie. Yep. I'm like... What are you doing? Over the years, who's been the best guy to talk to? Mm. Rob no, it's, say, excuse no, Rob from the Rob, equation. Rob has been great, but uh, I don't want your I honestly. Want your love. Pangos. Pangos was he's a smart guy. He he loved coming into the show. Like he would come in all the time, and he'd bring Drew Barham a lot, and then Rem Bacchus yeah. was. And Rem's hilarious. Yeah. He's kind of a... Really? And Rem was a great guy because he was the, the guy that's down on the end of the bench and just didn't care. He had, like, no filter. He would tell us anything about the guys, and so that was pretty fun. Oh, yeah. But Pangos, like, legitimately became almost just a friend of the show because he was on so much. 
He's your all-time favorite Zag. <sighs> yes, he is. You don't have to close. Just because Rob's here doesn't mean you have to laugh. Uh, I mean, close just because you he was so to, cool I, to I, us. Don't, I don't even count Rob though, because Rob's just like a friend. I'm you know a what bro, I mean? Like I'm I don't just even. The yeah, guy yeah. That comes in. Yeah. I'm like, like when Rob was. I mean, Rob and I go way back too. Like. Oh yeah. I'm, this guy has laid his head on my lap at the marquee. Back when it was the marquee. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've got a vomit story at the marquee. <laughs> we all have some kind of <laughs> weird thing that's happened to us at the marquee. Marquee closing down was probably the best thing to ever happen to me, personally. That's probably true. Yeah. I, I called that place the time machine. When we would go out, we would be like, are we going to go to the time machine? Because you literally would get there, and then you'd wake up in the future. That's how that ended up. That's always how that ended up. You'd get there, and then all of a sudden, have a drink, and then, and then you'd end up just in the future. You're like, it's 7 a.m.? How the, what? Yeah. Where did it happen? And I was like one of those weird, way too old guys to be there, but I was there all the time. At least you're honest with yourself. <laughs> yeah. But was that weird <laughs> thing? I, did, I never had that going out stage in my 20s. Right. Like, we had kids early. Right. And so my, my wife and I would go out, like... Yeah, the marquee. In our, like, was, 30s. Like, we were in our, you know, early yeah. 30s, whatever. And we'd go out, and there were the Zags. Oh, and boy. Boy, some good times, Jack. I can't believe I never saw you. I probably did. Yeah, we didn't know each other. Did you get up into the VIP, or were you Oh, yeah, out? upstairs. Okay, yeah. You yeah. I would he know. was friends with Matty B. That's what, <laughs> Matty B was the <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I wouldn't go. I remember saying this to Matt all the time. You know, he'd always want to go downtown, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And I'd be like, you got to realize it's not as fun for me as it is for you. Because <laughs> Jed, all of these Jed. women are coming over and talking to not us. They're talking to you. Yes. And I'm just the guy next to the, you know, and it was, it's, it was hard to explain that. But yeah, yeah well, no, I'd go all the time and yeah, just okay. make it full of Well, myself. and I'm probably bad hanging out with Matt Bolden and like. The Getting the runoff, struck is out that what you're <laughs> Yeah. That doesn't happen that way. <laughs> it doesn't? It doesn't happen that way. I know, in theory, it was a great idea, but I lived with the guy. It doesn't happen that way. Oh, what a bummer. So what do, what, so you just, you're just swinging. I'm on my you're own. You're just swinging. I'm on my own. Yeah. <laughs> that Mark, sounds so sad, man. Yeah, which, <laughs> which made that which sound way, so sad. I don't know if we get into this on this show or not, but... What is going on with you, Jack? Are you on your own now? What's going on with you personally? I've actually, I don't, this is every time we have this conversation, whether it was on this or on your radio show, Yeah, I'm in the very early stage of a lady friend. So now I don't know when this is going to air. It might air in January, it might air in February. Oh, right. So I don't want to drop any names. Okay. Wait, <laughs> wait, changes. wait. So, the, the, yeah, the names are going to change by <laughs> I mean, this Names are going to change, man. You guys don't know how it is. <laughs> like, you guys don't know how, how it is. How many names are there? You guys, like, uh, there's one talking? name. There's one name. Yeah. There's one name. Yeah. Okay, so your early lady. stages. That seems to be your specialty. Oh, I, Kevin, am so good the first two months of a relationship. That's when it gets hard. I man. am everything they want to see. It's called the honeymoon stage. Yeah, yeah. and then they it see. changes real fast. Yeah, they're meeting my friends. They're like, this guy's got good yeah. friends. He's fun. She laughs at all your jokes. Laughs at all my jokes. Ha <laughs> you're hilarious. Then she yeah. finds out stuff like serial killer stuff. Like I sleep with my socks on when I go to bed. Oh, And that's just really? the beginning of it. Always? You didn't know this? No. Oh, the habits start to be shown. Yes. Man. Yeah. I got the bad habits. You know what? That's tough. Could you, could you do this yeah. instead of this? And you're like, I've been like this my whole life. And then they're like, maybe all of a sudden this guy's not so funny. He's kind of annoying. Mm. Although I will tell you that you may, you know, I was married for like 25 years and with her for 27, they got a divorce, mm. started to date, whatever. Fine. I've got a new girlfriend now. We've been together for a year. But that first like three to five months of being together is literally the most glorious time I've oh, ever had. Yes. This is the one where I danced with her at a concert and you got jealous. You were mad at me, right? What? Yeah, we were at a concert and I like twirled her around. It was up at the casino. Um, maybe, but this? I don't think I was Jack jealous. Was, okay, you <laughs> probably were because this guy gets handsy. <laughs> oh, he might have. This he, guy gets handsy. I, mean, I, I would be jealous. I, I saw him with my wife. I'm, I'm gonna go. Hey, Jack, <laughs> hands yeah, to yourself. Hands in your pockets. <laughs> yeah, LeBron James can dance with her I, I before remember. you can dance with her, buddy. But it may have been. Yeah, she's. Yeah, because I remember you told me the next day. I think it might have been on your show, and I called BS because I, I didn't exactly remember it. 
<laughs> yeah, I believe that you don't remember it. That, <laughs> yeah. that part checks out. Yeah, but no, Jack. Maybe that theory of just the the three month relate three month relationship and move. Yeah, because it is the most glorious. It time is. Where it's it's like, great. Your legs are weak all the time. It's great. Your yeah, legs. yeah, yeah. Hey. <laughs> I didn't realize that was. I didn't realize that was such a basketball player thing. Oh, it is. Like you have to. What you have to save your legs. Save your legs. That's so to what speak, boxers do for a full what twenty four hours before a big game or even longer, kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not touching this one. Uh, <laughs> you started. I uh, know I did. That was on me. But we keep talking about boxers. Boxers last what. Oh, if they find a fight, it's like a couple months. Yeah. Mike Tyson yeah. said before he won his heavyweight for his first uh, bout, his heavyweight title, he never had sex in his life. No. He refused. He refused to have sex. Wait a minute. He was a virgin when I, he... I believe so. Really? I have to watch the documentary again, but... Was that like my choice or was it... Yeah, because, because he learned that um, through all the old time fighters, because he was a huge old time fighter and like historian with all the boxers he learned that those guys would like withhold before fights huh. so when he was growing up i think he won the title at 19 when he was growing up he just said i'll abstain from doing all that good on you buddy. no wonder he was so angry yeah but, <laughs> be angry too. good on you bud glad you're doing it boxers i could see you know if you got a, a big fight Every what six months or something, can, I could see you say, "Okay, I'm taking a couple of, week, like couple of weeks million, off." Yeah, 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 yeah. million, you know. Yeah. NBA players, no way. No, not touching this. <laughs> I am not <laughs> going down this no road. <laughs> no going down this road. Doing it. <laughs> no, no. All right. Well, thanks for coming in. Oh, no, you're welcome. I see that Adam Morrison is Adam, Adam, Adam Morrison's in the building, oh, so it's like here? let's yeah, you quickly get, get rid of me. Oh, he's just gonna walk in with, "Hey guys, what's going on?" What do you think Mo's going to talk about? We're going to talk about his music choice because he oh, has some good music, music choices. choices. I don't, I'm don't. i hoping sex doesn't come up, but if it does, it comes up. <laughs> like I didn't think we'd be talking sex with you. But I didn't we either. <laughs> Let's I talk don't, about I, sex, baby. <laughs> Let's talk about you and me. 